Fabio? Is this cool or what? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. He's showing off. Something you won't see every day. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It is before six o'clock in the morning, and we're heading off to the airport, heading to LA just for the day. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. It's gonna be pretty awesome who I'm about to meet up with. Okay, at the airport, ready to head to LA. It's gonna be a fun day, but I'm glad I'm only gone for one day. So it's gonna be a pretty busy trip. I'm actually only gone in LA for less than 24 hours and then I'm back here. It's a five hour flight over there. Gonna be hooking up with Jay at Prehistoric Pets. Of course, he's borrowing me some animals for a couple collabs that I'm doing. It's gonna be really exciting to see who I meet. Can't wait to show you guys who I'm gonna hook up with. It's gonna be really cool. And with the people I'm meeting up with, their audiences are huge. So we'll be exposing their audiences to some amazing animals. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Regardless, let's get to our gate, get on our plane, and let's have hopefully a nice relaxing five hour flight to LA. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And away we go. Thank you, thank you. All right, here in LA. I absolutely love Southern California, so I'm heading over to Jay at Prehistorics just to borrow a few of his animals to go to this video shoot that you guys are gonna be absolutely like, what, Brian? I mean, literally, when my manager said, hey, this guy wants to do a video with you, I had to do it because I've always been a big fan of his work and stuff like that, so you guys are definitely gonna say he's definitely not an animal person, and it's gonna be a kind of weird, interesting video, but I am absolutely looking forward to it, so I come all this way just to do that, and I'm actually gonna hook up later today with Sam and Colby. Some of you guys may watch them. They're absolutely amazing. They've got a really cool YouTube channel, so we're going to get with them and do a couple little fun things before heading back to JF Prehistorics to drop this stuff off tonight and then jumping on a plane heading back to the Reptarium. And we are here at Jay's Reptile Zoo. Always love coming to this place. So Jay's place is obviously so much larger than my place and uh, it really was a big inspiration to things. I mean, look at all this stuff. It's got green it's kind of here. It's got modern lizards, it's got all kinds of space. I mean, to have this kind of space can really give you a lot more species of animals. I mean, that's one of the things that's probably the hardest thing about what I'm doing is trying to decide like what animals to put where. I mean, take a look at this right here. This is actually a carpet python ball python mix. <laughs> what a crazy snake. Oh my God, and there's a big Haitian boa. Oh my gosh, again, there's just such a wide variety of species here. Of course, you got the big gator tank here. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. One day, I want to definitely have a place that's as big as this. It would be really, really cool. Some green iguanas up here, yellow anacondas down here. Oh my gosh. Look at the big old age and water monitor. I tell you, again, one day I kind of hope to have a place like this. Of course, there's a lot of work in a place like this. Oh, look at this little dude here. This guy is so amazing. Last time we were here, they were just getting started on it, so it's looking like this has come together. All three of these cages are gonna be absolutely incredible. Of course, Greg, the pond guy, did this whole pond. Beautiful backdrop right here. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. All these snake cages and lizard cages are great. Look at these. What a beautiful animal that is. Oh my God, I love it. When I come here, I get so inspired because I really think of the future and what's coming up. This, of course, is the retic python breeding area over here. Oh, look at all the big old socata tortoises. Oh my gosh, look at these beasties. These things are huge. I mean, you think speedy and savvy are big, but when you get around these guys, you really realize how absolutely amazing big they are. Oh, look at this cute little monkey right here. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Some more tortoises over here. Of course, really big pythons here. Jay's gonna be here any minute. We'll spend a little time with him, then we're gonna pack up some animals and head over to my shoot, and I can finally tell you who I'm meeting up with. This guy loves his pond. Where are you going? You gotta go for a swim. 
Oh, you're gonna go over there, aren't you? <laughs> just because I told you. Best late plans. And of course, Jay is here, and uh, it's just always awesome to come out to LA. Whenever I'm out here, I gotta come in. I've told you guys this a million times, but Jay has been not only a great friend of mine for 20 years, but this reptile I think zoo. Been, by the way, you're cutting it short at 8, 20 years. I never want people to. Are you to... trying to pretend how you're younger yeah, than I'm you like, are? Yeah, I'm younger. I'm, younger. <laughs> right, I'm probably closer to 30 years. I've said that this reptile zoo was really the biggest inspiration for what I do. Of course, his place is much bigger. It's got tons more stuff. But when I came here, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So Jay. And you I mean, talked about it the whole time, which yeah. makes me a little bit proud on the respects that I feel like wasn't talk. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You pulled it off, and I'm proud I of know. you. But Jay <laughs> kind of paved the way. I mean, he's been doing this forever here. Uh, you, where you, you have to be one of the first guys to kind of independently do this. There's like been this. a couple in malls, but I think that a true reptile guy that did it not for money, yeah. I didn't have the money. And, right. you know, it's just this is just like a... a a dream of mine right. that I started from an orphan and that I, you know, there used to be a place called the Alligator Farm. It went out of business when I was young and I missed it my whole life. Yeah. And, and So it, you wanted to do it yourself? And you know what? I, I ain't done. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the one thing I will say. I mean, literally every year I've been coming here, it's radically different, radically that's improved. That's what I try, I mean, I gotta just like tears, blood, and sweat to get to my dream. You know all about it, right? Nothing, you weren't given all anything. You had to work and you got to a point where you could go bam and now you got this awesome place which if you guys want to come check it out, I'm going to go there one day and if you want to come meet me there, it'd be great. I'd, I mean, Brian, did we did, a, we did it here and had a blast meeting all of you and we'd love to meet all of you out out at Brian's new place, the Reptarium, right? At the Reptarium, absolutely. Yeah. We're gonna make this happen where Jay's gonna come out, do a big meetup out there. We'll say this, I mean, I'll probably be the most nervous having Jay out than anybody oh. because of this, but I know he, Jay's great about it, but it'll just be for me, it'll be nervous. It's Only epic, I've already seen enough pictures to know that, I, I know what I see and it's epic. This is some of our new stuff. Oh, this is the new here. stuff you're doing here, yeah, so this tell me about for, this. These are some of the big enclosures. I had, I had a medium enclosure and I'm kind of excited that we're putting them into these big ones, they're all dialed in. He He's standing in actually the egg laying box. Oh, so this is going to be the egg yeah, box. Yeah, there's, right there's heating down there, there's oh, heating gosh. over there, there's heating up there, oh, lighting. Gosh, yeah, big ponds. Yeah, this is ponds here. This is a big area for filtration, another egg laying area, wow. and pumps and waterfalls. And, that is and, awesome. Uh, and yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, I mean, monitors really do prefer to dig deep when they lay their eggs. So if you can give them at least a foot of substrate, it really does help them. So these are going to be unbelievable. Yes, I mean, this is they're like two amazing. feet deep. They're two feet deep. They have heat at the bottom, and they're designed because, I mean, I used to breed a lot of water monitors, and honestly, I haven't been able to because I don't have the proper enclosures, and I don't want them to get egg bound, so I keep them separate. You know, so I'm kind of excited that I get to go back and play with monitors because that's actually I like big pythons, but let me tell you, I like big monitors too. Yeah, so, <laughs> so this is kind of the roughed out one. Correct. And this is the finished right. product here, and yeah. uh, he's exactly. Working. This is Mike. Mike is like my rock guy. Well, you're doing a wonderful job. It looks <laughs> he absolutely did a killer amazing. job. You know, that's yeah. awesome. So when you guys come out here to Fountain Valley, California, you know this guy over here had a lot to do with how beautiful these things look <laughs> for sure. But uh, this is going to be amazing. So there's three cages here again. You can see this one's got a lot of the finish work here. You can just see this one's kind of rough. And we, can show them, we can show them a finished product. The other, you know, what, yeah, what a complete, a come on, let's go check it out. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at what one of these is going to look like when it's completely done. This is a big enclosure. This is one of our main big ones that we put in. And we, you know, we put got glass. It's funny how many people don't realize it. You know, we got glass see-through for the gators. You can see them from the yeah. belly. You can yeah. see the snapping turtles from the, the bottom, the and top. The oh, the male is. Whoa, look at the male. Look at that. Oh my God. He's showing that's off. That's something you won't see every day. <laughs> no, it isn't. I honestly, I've never seen him do that. Oh my God. Look at him. He's still doing it. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. What in the world? <laughs> I don't see that every day. He's, oh my uh, God. He must be excited that we're here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Yeah, this is my big python enclosure. This is actually the first big enclosure that I built. Yeah, it's and, beautiful. Uh, the design is made actually more than just for looks. Every shelf is designed for the animals to lip. You know, he usually sits up top. And uh, it's you know got a pond yeah. on one end. Gosh, this is amazing. And again, I just I love coming here because it gives me so many ideas. It inspires me. Uh, this is this is incredible. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is just such a great. I mean, got the alligator. He's got space up here. He can climb. I mean, he can just do everything. This is a freaking awesome gator yeah, tank. So you know, at the end of the day, if you really love animals, you want to make them look good. You want them to be in nice looking enclosures. Basically, this was a pet store, and I turned it into a, a zoo. And there's a lot of transition be from a from a pet store and a zoo. And you know, hey, I can't build a bunch of $100,000 displays 
at one time, so I gotta build a whole bunch of what I can, as I can, and so I'm excited because I'm gonna be working on another zoo, and when I do, it'll be from scratch. Uh oh, I think that I think we just got a scoop right here, so so you can keep a look at it. I definitely will be loving to do this. And by the way, before we get going, I have to get out to my thing, but I did want to say down in the description, show Jay some love. I'm gonna put his links to his Instagram, YouTube channel, everything. And I really definitely. appreciate it, you guys. Yeah, show him some love. Tell him Brian sent you. Amazing person, great friend, always been there for me. And uh, I really appreciate it if you guys show him the support that he truly deserves. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. One of the French benefits of having a zoo, you get to play with the animals. This one thinks he's a dolphin. His name's Fabio. Come on, Fabio. Is this cool or what? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm seriously gonna do the dolphin show and use Fabio. Whoa, come on. We can't tease him too much, but the good idea is it's actually enrichment. He gets fatter, he gets exercise, he stays strong and lives longer. As you guys knew, I flew all the way to LA because I was pretty excited about a project, but I can't really tell you much about it right now. I cannot wait to be able to share that footage with you guys. Unfortunately, it's going to be a few weeks before it goes out. When you're shooting with certain people, obviously you have to be professionally courteous to them and not release footage because it's really their big channel. I'm just kind of visiting them, you know what I mean? So regardless, it was absolutely amazing and well worth the trip out here. Now I'm going to try to go link up with Sam and Colby, just hang out, show them my animals, have some fun with those guys, and then we're going to basically call it a night, hit the plane in the morning, and head back to BHB and the Reptarium. All right, my next stop, of course, We've got Sam here from Sam and Colby. Hey, roommates, everybody. So, oh yeah, all right. So uh, what are we doing here today? Today we're gonna scare the crap out of them. Oh no, we're gonna get you guys some love snakes. You said you're scared, so we're gonna work on him. Uh, he, I can tell he looks scared already. I, I, I can't feel my face. <laughs> no, we're gonna work on you. Uh, these two actually, you have a snake, you like snakes, you've had snakes, I have, yeah. and where are you at? You know what, I'm right in the middle. Right in the middle. So Okay, so uh, this is a perfect little scale here. And I didn't ask you, how do you feel, Sam? Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I'm going for the ride, but I'm pretty yeah, horrified as well. All right, so my mission today is to, to convert some people into snake lovers by the end of this. I think we can do it. I think oh we can do it. So, uh, I don't when, you, when you say snake, do you mean like, like a, like a small, like... Yeah, just a little, little. It's not even that big. Okay, guys, let's go get some animals. All right, so our first victims right here. How did it go? This is the first time you ever held a snake. You look like... Ever. Oh, my God. It's tongue. And I always thought, you know, my first snake would be like a regular house snake, maybe like a foot or two. But no, my first snake was a 12-foot snake on my head. And it, it's honestly, it's more docile than a dog. Exactly. It's really saying. calm. Like, well, yeah. You were kind of freaked out. I was. But it's a lot more chill than yeah. that, right? And kind is a very kind word. I was really scared. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm actually like, I, I, I'm kind of like this. And I was just giving Jake a little hug right there. Yeah. yeah. And see, now it's your turn. See what he said? Yeah, Yo, he was freaked out. You can do it too. I have faith in you. What, let's start this way. Let's just start with you like kind of sitting over here and we'll put yeah. the tail on you. You know, I, Kevin's I never lied to me before, but there's a start for everything. And. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's hissing at me and... No, it's not hissing, it's just breathing. Breathing, okay. <laughs> I'm not much of a Harry Potter, but I, I can't really tell what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not bad, you did good. See, I told it, you you were gonna hold it, and I think you're doing really good. I'm proud wow, of you. Wow, thank you. It's kind of like a big scary dog, like... Not like scary dog, but like scary to look at. Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> wow. Is that for so chill about it? <laughs> I know, cool. you're doing great. It's, it's, not that, it's not that bad. I know, see, I told you. I knew it. What is it? What is so Colby ended up waking up and coming down and seeing some animals. Uh, that's pretty awesome. We had a good time with your guys' friends. Oh. Uh, we made some people that were kind of afraid of snakes. Sure were. <laughs> to people that actually seemed to appreciate them. Not gonna say they're snake lovers yet, but they certainly did appreciate them. Uh, I think I, I might get a snake. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, I went from like never touching a snake in my life to now I'm like, I could get a snake. I could sleep with lemonade every day. It was, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a nice step. This little guy there is this guy 30 years later. Oh. Yeah, same, same exact tortoise, just baby, 30 years. Is, are they like related in any These way? These guys are not related, oh, no, but, but this How is long? just a little baby. How long do they live for? It's only about 150 to 200 years. What? So, so, yeah. so will, will, it, will it get bigger? It's going to get bigger, yeah. This one is about 40 to 50 pounds right now. It's gonna get about 150 pounds. And it will not get 150 pounds. Yeah. 150 pounds. 
Yeah. As we're gonna wrap it up here at these guys' house, again, I will put a link in the description to their videos. They're absolutely hilarious. They do tons of really cool stuff. Definitely show them some love. Tell them I sent you, of course, and you can check out all the stuff they did with our animals. We definitely made some animal lovers today. It was absolutely amazing. Thanks, guys, for being out. Definitely. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. You were a warrior. Thank you so much, man. You changed my life today. brother. Thanks, man. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything. And I am back here at Jay's to drop the animals off. It's hard to believe that my day started early this morning in Michigan, was able to come all the way out to LA, did all these collabs with a bunch of cool people. I can't wait to share the one with you. Definitely had a good time. Hey, Sam and Colby were absolutely amazing. We changed a lot of people's minds. People that were absolutely terrified about snakes and they ended up loving them. I mean, even wanted to get some as pets. So today was absolutely amazing. I wish every day was like this. Tomorrow I get to wake up, do a couple little things here. Then I get on a plane, travel all day. So I'm gonna heavily rely on the crew to kind of give you updates what's going on with BHB and the Reptarium. But I will be back tomorrow and then we will kick butt because I think we have like eight days left before the potential grand opening of the Reptarium. So regardless, thank you guys for joining me today. You guys are amazing, and I hope that you have an incredible day. You guys know I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Make sure to leave a comment, because I like reading about you guys. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.